Hey everybody, this is the OMAD Dad. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, a channel that is dedicated to living the OMAD lifestyle or eating one meal a day. Uh, well, in my past videos, we've talked about how OMAD could be used as a very effective tool to lose weight. We know about uh, some other health benefits that it does. A lot of people who have used intermittent fasting for any period of time will tell you that many of them are jumping off their medications and are just feeling better. Uh, we certainly know about the power that OMAD has to put less of a strain on your wallet. You'll definitely save some money. Uh, but today I want to talk about a little known benefit of OMAD and that is autophagy. The fact that uh, intermittent fasting and specifically OMAD will help increase the natural process of autophagy. This in my opinion is if you're on the fence about trying intermittent fasting, this is probably going to be the little hidden benefit that seals the deal for you as far as making you think about giving it a chance. I'm going to keep this as non-scientific as I can. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor or a physicist or uh, any sort of PhD candidate like that. Science was not my major in school, uh, but I, I want to give you enough information about this so that you get kind of a, a really basic overview as to what some of what some of the healing process what, what what sort of things are happening when we are fasting All right so let's start with the, the word itself autophagy uh, comes from a greek word meaning self-devouring and we're learning more about this science every day uh, it's a relatively new science that um, they've been discovering uh, there's a Japanese man who just recently won a Nobel Prize in his uh, research in, in this area uh, but autophagy is a process that happens in your body that allows the cells to recycle and reuse and get rid of any unnecessary or damaged components uh, so what happens when when you eat, your body stops its natural healing process that it does, and it goes after the food that comes into your system. It, it goes and processes it in the way it needs to. The waste goes in the waste bin, and um, you get your nutrients, and what isn't used immediately gets stored, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know all about this. Uh, but if you go a period of time when you're not eating, your body starts using some of its stored fuel for energy, and while it's doing that, your body has time to sort of go through and clean house. Uh, and it does this at a cellular level. Your cells take uh, any damaged bits that are inside or parts that it doesn't need, and um, it gets rid of it and kind of excretes it out the cell. And your body then takes that and uses it for energy. And uh, what it can't use for energy, it goes into the waste bin of your body, so to speak. Uh, and it's a really beautiful process. But what this does is um, helps to increase the, the lifespan of the cells. And um, in other words, you get sort of it, it, it's like an age expansion. You know, and I'm paraphrasing here. I'm probably not the most articulate when it comes to science. Um, but many people who go on fasting regimens, water fasts, uh, strict water fast specifically, uh, they have like a certain glow about them and they, they not only have they lost a little bit of weight, but they look better. They look younger too. That's autophagy happening within the body. And, uh, this is really exciting. Uh, this is kind of the fountain of youth. So in other words, it's not to say that autophagy will help you live forever or that you'll never have any sort of sickness or de disease as long as you're in some sort of fasted state. Uh, but it does have an amazing power to clean out a lot of the natural junk in your system. This is why I'm against a lot of these juice cleanses or these detox pills and things that you see. Your body has this amazing ability to heal itself to a certain degree and we just have to allow it to naturally do what it's supposed to do. So, 
uh, how long does it take to get into a system of into, into autophagy, for example? Um, most of what I've read and what I've heard, it all depends on how depleted your glycogen st stores are. Uh, but usually within 12 to 16 hours, they say, is when your body starts shifting over and amping up uh, the healing process. And again, for most people, this is it happens very briefly uh, at night when you're sleeping because you're not eating when you're sleeping. But we interrupt it during the day when we just keep eating constantly and eating and eating and eating. But for those of us who intermittent fast, for those of us who are on OMAD, we give our bodies that break that it needs. It goes through and it processes all that food out. It, it, it does what it needs to do and, and then it switches over to healing mode and uh, autophagy or recycling mode. And it starts going through and saying, okay, what can we get rid of here? Uh, because you don't have any more energy coming in. So your body starts looking for stored fuel that you have to run its day-to-day -day operations while you're in between meals. All right, so this is why when people say, uh, oh, if you miss, skip a meal, you're, you're going to be sick or it's going to, you're going to die or something's going to happen. I'm going to eat your, you know, you're just going to create all this big mess in your, your body. It's not. And this is what, this is what happens. Uh, and so again, while it's, you know, burning your body fat as stored fuel, while it's going through and, and getting some of the glycogen out of your system, it's also burning up these bits of uh, s damaged cells, um, and recycled bits that your, your cells don't no, no longer need. Uh, there's ways to naturally increase autophagy. Of course, intermittent fasting is one of them and getting into a fasted state. Um, there, fa um, exercise is another way to, helping, to help do that. Um, taking cold showers or you know, swimming in water that's relatively cold. Again, you don't have to be in there, submerged in there for too, too long. And you don't want to because you don't want to get hypothermia. Uh, <clears throat> and I've even seen research that shows um, products like coffee or extra virgin olive oil can help increase autophagy as well. Again, this is a new science and we're learning more and more about it every day. Um, but that is, for me, I think one of the just, it just hits home and it's like one of those added benefits of it. it's like okay so it's going to help heal my body and i'm going to lose weight and i'm going to save money um see okay where where do I, where can i sign up for this and uh, there are a tremendous amount of great videos on here that go into a real depth about the science if you want to learn more about this i really recommend that you go and check this out because it's a fascinating subject uh, especially if you consider yourself a student of the human body and how everything works uh I would just butcher it if I tried making this very boring, bland, and scientific. So I'm going to leave it to the experts. But that is autophagy in a nutshell. And I think that it's definitely worth uh, add, adding intermittent fasting, and particularly OMAD if you can, to your lifestyle as a way of just healing and giving your body a chance to, to do what it was designed to do. Uh, so that is it for me for today. Very short video. I hope this uh, was, it cleared up a few things, uh, and I hope this video kind of inspired you to go out and do some research on your own and to look up what we know about th this amazing mechanism within our body to, to heal. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you want to get some more content. Uh, check me out on Facebook. I have a, a really nice Facebook group page going, and uh, we always post more content on there. And st don't, stick around because I've got some more videos coming out, more OMAD-specific videos on how to make this whole process better for you, how to make it easier, how to make it work. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and also, we're going to be very soon I'm going to be coming out uh, with a video on troubleshooting and what to do when things don't exactly go the way you want them to on this plan. So uh, be sure to watch out for that stuff. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys enjoy your meal and have a very happy OMAD, and I'll see you very soon. <laughs>